Hello everyone, my name is Sal and I'm part of the Starship Steering Committee. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to navigate around the rate cap page uh, for yourself as a data collector. So first, as you can see here on my screen, we've got a rate cap page up for you. And what you have to do is to put in your username and your password. And then you log in. So you should be able to see this page, uh, which shows you the different kind of projects you have going on. And what you want to do is to click here on Cascade Data Collection. Okay, give me some time to do. And then the next thing you want to do is to click here on add, to add records. All right, and then you click on this green button. So what you should see here is a new record ID for every new patient that you're going to log in. And then you should see three different data collection instruments here, pre-operative, intra-operative, and post-operative data. So let's go through one of them, uh, each of them. All right. So I think for the majority of the things here, they are quite self-explanatory, such as what the, uh, data collection period are you collecting data for? Uh, which specialty are you collecting data for as well? As you can see here, you have things such as the patient's age and sex. Um, there are some data points such as the patient ASA grade, for those of you who aren't familiar with the, with the patient ASA grade, you can click on this icon here. And it will take you to a page like this, where you should be able to identify which ASA grade uh, best fits your patient. And you should be able to read this in your own time as well. And once you have identified the, the ASA grade for the patient, you then click on this and choose which one you think uh, you know, corresponds to your patient's ASA grade. As you can see here, you've got the BMI, the smoking status, as well as the clinical frailty skill. If you aren't familiar with what it is, you've got an icon here to click on as well. The one thing I would highlight here is that for some of the data points, you have drop down menus. You have these kind of options where you can choose one of them. And if you see data points where you've got boxes here, it means that you should tick on all that apply. So, for example, let's say you've got a patient with cardiovascular disease, uh, a cardiovascular um, diseases such as an MI or an angina, then you should tick these options as well. Okay, and I think for most of them, they're also quite self-intuitive. You will see some of the options where you can also click on this in case you aren't too familiar with uh, whether your patient is insulin control or tablet control. And likewise for all of the drugs that are listed here as well. Okay, and then you make your way down. And once you're done with all of the data here that's completed, what you do is to click on here and click on complete. Let's say if you aren't, uh, let's say you weren't able to complete all of the data here um, uh, in one go, and you actually need to come back and add in more data, then you can just leave it as incomplete and save and exit the form. All right. So recap would then tell you which data points hasn't been added in yet. So you then you know, and you leave the record. It's going to go back here. Okay, so that was for patient two that I was collecting, and now we're going to go through the intraoperative data. So similarly, a lot of the things that you see here are quite self-explanatory as well. A lot of these should be able to be retrieved from the patient's notes or the surgical notes. And once again, once you're done, remember to just change this to complete once you've completed all of the data points that is required here. And lastly, we're going to go to the post-operative and third follow-up. Likewise, you'll be able to answer all of these questions based on the patient's notes, or let's say if you were to follow up the patient and see the patient yourselves. Um, a lot of these things are self-explanatory. Um, you know, for anything that is based on the, uh, the management of the patients or what medications they're on, you should be able to get that from their drug chart. And likewise here, it's important for you to make sure that you get all of the data required um, from the patient's notes. For any data which you aren't too familiar of, uh, you know how to get it from the notes. Uh, we do recommend you to consult with the, uh, you know, with your supervising consultant or the junior doctor that you've got on the wards with you. And you complete when you're done as well. And I believe that should be the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, please uh, reach out to your hospital leads or to your regional leads um, for any further clarification. Thank you very much.